more now on one of our top stories this Saturday, and we're learning some disturbing new details concerning the IRS, specifically this video just turned over to congressional investigators. It shows IRS employees blind dancing. It was produced on the taxpayer's dime for a training conference that took place back in 2010, and it's just the tip of the iceberg. An inspector general's report is due out the beginning of this coming week, and it's expected to show that the IRS spent almost $50 million on conferences over a three-year period starting in 2010. This is the Obama administration is trying to overhaul the agency amid the scandal concerning the acknowledged targeting of dozens of conservative groups that were seeking tax-exempt status. And now, according to a new poll by Quinnipiac University, 76% of registered voters all registered voters are calling for a special prosecutor to investigate the IRS. That includes 63% of Democrats. So where is all this headed? Jamu Green is former president of the Women's Media Center. She's a Fox News contributor. Brad Blakeman is a former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush. And Brad, I want to start with you because you have a personal story to tell about being targeted yourself by the IRS when you were the head of an organization. Tell us. That's right. I ran a 501c4 called Freedom's Watch back in 2007 to 2009, and after the uh, 501c4 uh, ceased its operation, we were targeted. I personally was targeted uh, by the IRS, as were the donors to Freedom's Watch, and, but we, we suspected that we were politically targeted, but of course we didn't have the facts to back that up until now, when we understand that it was uh, a policy of the IRS to go after uh, right of center political organizations, and we were caught up in that mess, and now it's come to light in the Wall Street Journal broke the story today that Freedom's Watch, me personally and our donors, were, were uh, targeted by the IRS and put through two years of, of incredible intimidation. And at the end of the day, they got nothing, Rick. Nothing from me personally, uh, nothing from our donors. It was a pure act of intimidation and, and government leverage uh, over people who were, who were trying to educate the American people on things I guess the Obama administration didn't want us involved in. Well, hold on. We, we can't level those charges just yet, uh, and, and there are some investigations that are, that are going on. But, Jamu, you hear stories uh, ab about you know, this and things that happened to Brad, things that have happened to the heads of other organizations, conservative groups. Uh, why wouldn't the Obama administration get more out ahead of this and maybe appoint its own special prosecutor or special investigator uh, to try to figure out exactly who was leading this charge? Well, Rick, I think they have gotten out ahead of this, and they are very focused on holding those accountable who are guilty in this situation. But look, it was wrong when this happened to Brad. Brad, I hope that you've been able to recover. Uh, I'm sorry it happened to you, but it was also wrong when the FBI spied on PETA and Greenpeace and anti-war activists in 2001. So this should not be a partisan witch hunt. This but scandal you're, you're, is you're an opportunity. This is an opportunity, Brad, this for us to have a greater professionalization of the IRS, for us to put pieces in place where this won't ever be able to happen again, and to also really clarify the activity between non-political and political groups, because the New York Times reported recently how some of these groups were actually engaged in overt political activity. We know right, it let happens, me let Brad, Brad you know let it happens. Let, Brad, let, let, let me let Brad respond, Jamu, go ahead. The president has a feigned response of outrage to this crisis. What does he do to the IRS officials who are culpable by admission? He either lets them take early retirement, he lets them resign, but he doesn't fire them. As a matter of fact, in, in a few of the cases, he promotes the very people who are the most culpable in targeting political organizations. If the president wanted to be a leader on this and, and show that he rejects this kind of targeting of political groups by a government agency that is under his control, he would have fired these people immediately for cause based on their admission, and he wouldn't have let them...